Wall, where the world goes to look good. At Wall Clipper Corporation, we produce an extensive line of high quality hair clippers to help keep you and your family looking great. On October 14, 1919, Leo J. Wall applied for patents on his newly developed electromagnetic hair clipper, and manufacturing began at the Wall Manufacturing Company in Sterling, Illinois. From that humble beginning over 80 years ago, Wall Clipper Corporation has continued to develop and manufacture the world's most trusted brand of hair clippers. Currently, Wall Clipper Corporation operates manufacturing facilities on three different continents with sales offices around the world. With worldwide influence and American ingenuity, it's easy to see why every day in over 150 countries around the world, more and more people are turning to Wall to look good. This how-to program is intended to give you an understanding of basic haircutting techniques and styles so that your new wall hair clipper kit will keep you looking great for years to come. Check your owner's manual for additional information about the operation of your new wall hair clipper kit. In this program you'll see haircut demonstrations using various wall hair clipper units including corded AC powered units and a rechargeable unit that can be used with or without a cord. The hair cutting techniques work the same with either type. Both types come with an assortment of guide combs that make cutting different lengths of hair easy. We also have optional guide combs available that can be used in special cutting situations. For example, our number 12 guide comb can be used for cutting longer hair. These guide combs install easily on your wall hair clipper. Simply slide the guide comb over the blade area and press down toward the back of the guide comb until you hear it snap into place. When you are learning to cut hair, remember to use a guide comb that will leave the hair a little longer than you think you will need. It's easy to go back and cut hair shorter if necessary. For our first haircut, we will watch Shanti give Brady a buzz cut. One of the techniques that Shanti will use is the upward rocking motion to blend the sections of the hair. We will also see how to cut around whirls. And finally, Shanti will demonstrate the left and right ear attachments. Shanti starts cutting this classic buzz cut using the wall clip and trim hair clipper with attachment guide comb number three. She uses long strokes starting from the nape or section one and continuing through to the middle of section three. Keeping the teeth of the guide comb on the scalp, she continues throughout the entire back section. Next, Shanti cuts the top of Brady's head with the same guide comb starting at the front hairline or bangs. Shanti cuts opposite the direction of growth in the whirl area. To remove more bulk from behind the ears, Shanti uses the left ear guide comb. Starting behind the ear, Shanti arches the clipper around the ear for a clean line, repeating the steps on the right side. Using the trimmer feature of the wall clip and trim, Shanti cleans up the sideburn and bang area. Next, the neckline is cleaned up by using the trimmer and small strokes. Have your subject tilt his head down slightly. This stretches the skin in the neck area to enable you to get a close trim. As you can see, the results are great. Brady gets a clean looking, easy to care for haircut. Our next haircut will be a young man's contemporary business cut. As Lori cuts Manny's hair, she will demonstrate three techniques. The first will be using the rocking motion of the wrist discussed earlier to blend the sections of the head smoothly. Second, she will use the guide combs to help blend the hair. And finally, Lori will use the clipper over comb technique. Here's a wall quick tip. Always trim hair shorter at the hairline below the temple. This hair is often curly and may have a tendency to stick out. Lori starts Manny's cut using a wall Chrome Pro hair clipper with guide comb number five. 
This guide comb will leave the hair slightly longer. Starting in the back, Laura uses an upward rocking motion to cut sections one and two. The rocking motion will leave the hair slightly longer at the top of each section or where the clipper rocks away from the scalp. You will be able to blend the sections using this technique. Here's a wall quick tip. Occasionally as you cut, be sure to comb the hair and check for the natural hair response in order to see how the hair falls into place. Next, Lori uses the number 12 guide comb to cut the top of the head. Starting in the front, she combs the hair first to see how the hair falls, then uses small strokes rolling the clipper away from the head to remove desired bulk. To blend the top section and cut section 3, Lori applies the clipper over comb technique. By rolling the comb and lifting the hair outward from the scalp, she can blend the sections. Lori then finishes her outline by trimming the bangs and cleans the neckline and around the ears using the inverted clipper technique. Lori customizes this look by using Manny's favorite styling gel. You can see that Lori has given Manny a neat and clean looking haircut for work or school. In our next demonstration, Shanti will give Ryan a longer sports cut with a Wall Home Pro haircutting kit. Shanti will use the clipper with guide comb attachments to blend the hair from one section to the next. She will also clean up the neck and sideburns using the inverted clipper technique. Shanti is clipping this longer sport cut using guide comb number three. She uses the upward rocking motion to cut and blend sections one and two. Guide comb number four is attached to the clipper. This guide comb will cut and blend section three nicely. You can achieve a great blend using the taper lever as well. To cut section four, Shanti attaches guide comb number eight. This guide comb will leave the hair one inch in length. Using short strokes working against natural growth direction, Shanti runs the clipper from the top of the head to the back. She is being careful not to cut the bangs. When cutting the top of the head, you may encounter growth patterns such as this whirl. Run the clipper with the direction of growth as well as opposite the direction of growth to help the whirl lay flat. Next, Shanti is cutting the bangs. First, the hair is combed into its natural fall. The outline or perimeter is cut with inverted clippers and trimmed to desired length. Next, the bangs are held between the fingers straight out from the head and cut with scissors. This will leave the bangs longer, which helps to customize this longer sport cut. Use the clipper in an inverted manner to clean up the neck. By holding the clipper on a slight angle, you can use the corner of the blade to clean up around the ears and sideburns. You can leave the bangs longer and then use your favorite styling product to add that personal touch. You can see that the haircut Ryan has received will be carefree for weeks to come.